Mobile apps aren't apps at all, they're solutions to business problems. Apps allow businesses to stay ahead of the curve. Apps have transformed how we do and accelerate businesses, along with giving massive growth and exposure opportunities. The average smartphone owner uses 10 apps daily and 30 apps monthly. That's why businesses worldwide must have a robust mobile application strategy in these critical times. It often becomes difficult for most entrepreneurs, CTOs, and CXOs, to envision developing an app to choose among the three most common approaches to mobile app development, progressive web app development, native and cross-platform app development. To help you make a decision, in this video, we'll discuss all three mobile app development approaches. Let's begin with progressive app development. Progressive app development aims to make a web application function similarly to a mobile or desktop app. Similarly to a native applications, PWAs have an icon on the mobile home screen and can send push notifications. This approach helps businesses bridge the gap between web and native experiences. For PWA development some of the popular frameworks are HTML with JavaScript, AngularJS, ReactJS, Vue.js, Ionic 2, PWA Builder. Native App Development Under this approach, apps are developed using programming languages and tools that are specific to a single platform or OS. In this smartphone hardware features can be used to build an interactive user experience. Native apps for iOS are built primarily using programming languages Swift and Objective-C, for Android using Java, and Kotlin Plus tools the platform provides. Cross-Platform App Development In the cross-platform mobile application development approach, mobile apps are developed to function for multiple mobile OS platforms. These apps are compatible with major operating systems, such as iOS and Android. With one source code and faster time to market, this approach has been a favorite of many. The most popular frameworks for cross-platform development are Flutter, React Native, Titanium and Xamarin. Now, we will compare for all three approaches based on the following top five critical factors. UI and UX. Performance. Compatibility. Time to market. Development costs. Let's get started folks, with the first comparison parameter, UI and UX. The apps built with PWA approach on UI and UX front, look and feel like a web-based app versus a native approach that offers a superior user experience as they are built for specific OS, versus cross-platform apps which have the looks and feel just like a native app but not as flexible for UI, UX customization as native. Out of all three, native app development approach holds better UI and UX capabilities, enabling businesses to deliver a rich user experience. The next parameter is, performance. Apps built with progressive web app development approach are app-like replica of websites, load faster than responsive websites, deliver similar experience, but since PWAs run on browser, there will be latency and more battery consumption versus native Android app development that enables developers to discover next-gen smartphone features due to hardware support like memory management, network and wireless access points, geo, camera and so on for optimizing service delivery that ensures the best app performance versus cross-platform apps which are surely better than PWAs but not as good as native apps. Additionally, in cross-platform development, smartphone hardware features can't be utilized as much as native. That is why the native app development approach wins when businesses are looking to build a high-performance app. Moving on to the third parameter, compatibility. The PWAs work on any platform and mobile device using browsers versus native apps have a separate code base for Android, iOS or Windows, which ensures the highest level of OS compatibility versus cross-platform apps have a single code base that works across both Android, iOS and Windows. Compatibility is better than PWAs but can not match to native approach. Parameter number 4 is, time to market. Apps built with the progressive app development approach are quick to develop and have the fastest time to market versus native app development, which has more extended time to market as development has to be done for Android and iOS separately. In the case of cross-app development, Time to market is shorter than native but longer than PWA. The fifth parameter is, development cost. In progressive web app development, a small development team is enough versus in the native approach. Separate development teams for each platform are required. In a cross-platform, one but small to the mid-sized development team is needed as the effort is more than progressive app development. This easily explains that development cost as for native approach is the highest followed by cross-platform then progressive web app. So which approach is the best for your organization? 
All three app development approaches have different pros and cons. But we can help you to decide. If your business requires a high performance, rich user experience and feature-loaded app, then native app development is the best option. In case you have time and cost constraints and still plan to have a native-like app, then cross-platform app development will be better suited. The progressive app development approach is suited when you want to build an app-like experience for customers and want to take advantage of web and app both. At Copper Mobile, we help our clients to adopt the best-suited mobile app development approach for their business and make them market-ready. A conversation over coffee with Copper Mobile experts will be a great help to decide which approach is for your organization.